And in order to effectively serve um, victims of domestic violence, we have to have a uh, very integrated, coordinated community response. If we don't have that, uh, we're not going to save lives. We are going to lose Albertans, there's no question in my mind. We have, serve a large rural community, um, and that with that, uh, we the communities are quite remote, um, and sometimes that has an impact on whether or not women actually come to shelter. For the vast majority of our women, they're not ready for housing because financially they're not in a position where they can. Um, uh, put down first and last month's rent, damage deposits, stuff like that. So they need to get into somewhere uh, where there's no uh, rental or, or fee for service and, and then from that place get their finances in order and access to whatever uh, government supports they need so they can then go find housing and afford housing. If you don't know where the shelter is, you can ask someone down the street where the shelter is. Um, so we've sometimes we have to move women out of out of camera straight away when they come to us and that's difficult so, uh, someone's everybody's support system is here uh, we have some families that have been in the community for 100 years they're very established that has two sides to it because uh, maybe Everybody knows your business and maybe everybody turns a blind eye. We're seeing lots more addictions again. We're seeing a big trend in addictions, which you kind of, in turn, kind of, you know, things are tough, families are struggling, and a lot of them are coping with, you know, either drugs or alcohol. The rates of domestic violence and the research, you know, over three decades or longer, you know, shows the rates of domestic violence to be fairly homogenous within the population in good economic times and in bad. Um, so what we see in, in good economic times is we see an increase in drug and alcohol, which um, uh, exacerbates the violence and sometimes the intensity of the violence. And in tough economic times, the, the increase in stress, drug and alcohol use, um, that again exacer exacerbates the power and control issues. What we see uh, in our community is police responding to a lot more conflict um, calls that they call domestic violence. Um, but uh, the way that we sort of define domestic violence is a pattern of coercive control, a pattern of uh, tactics of control and violence um, within the family. So police will report um, a significant increase in domestic violence during tough economic times. Um, but the differentiation piece for us is that there's not long-standing or historical power and control issues here. One of the trends that we're, we've really identified is that um, uh, women between probably the ages of 45 and 55 seem to be, I don't know, if lost in the system is the word. Um, but we, we've identified quite a few women in that age range who have been couch surfing, can't afford to live on their own, uh, but um, have been moving from shelter to shelter and there's really very few resources for them. And unfortunately, a number a lot of those women have mental health issues. So in, in, in good economic times, uh, it's harder for women to find housing because the vacancy rate is very low. And in, and in tough economic times, the vacancy rate tends to go up, so it, it makes it a little easier for women to find housing. I think a big barrier is there's nowhere for them to go for uh, mental health. There's nowhere for them to go for addictions. Our addiction workers are really tapped out and um, no fault of just things the way it works. Um, over half of our women and children in shelter are uh, Indigenous 
and the systemic racism that exists. You know, we talk about the fact that uh, we want to reduce turnaways, and that's great. Um, and we want to be able to move women out of second state shelter into the community, into secure, safe housing, and, and that's great. But the stock isn't there. <laughs> Like the housing stock is just not there. It's difficult for women to get to shelter in cameras because of the anonymity or lack of, uh, but there's also other reasons um, that it's difficult for women to come to shelter. Housing is still, although it's opened up in cameras in the last few months, we've had more women move into the community in the last six months than uh, probably the last two years, um, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's safe housing.